Welcome to Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids. In this presentation, let us show the solution to MTOP 2024 Elimination Round for Grade 10 students. This is Part 5 of 5 Parts, Numbers 41 to 50. Let us repeat the instructions. Give all fractions and ratios in lowest terms. All denominators should be rationalized. Express all equations of lines in the form AX plus BY plus C equals 0, where A, B, and C are integers, and A greater than 0. Figures given are not drawn to scale. Let us begin with question number 41. Find the exact value of 11 combination 5. For our suggested solution, let us use the formula for combination, that is, n combination r is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. In this problem, n is equal to 11, so we have 11 and r is equal to 5, combination 5. So we have 11 factorial over 11 minus 5 factorial times 5 factorial. 11 is equal to 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. We stop at 6 factorial because there is 6 factorial in the denominator. Then 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3, times 2, times 1. Let us do the cancellation method. 6 factorial over 6 factorial is 1. We have 5 times 2 is equal to 10. So 10 over 10 is 1. Also, we have 9 divided by 3 is 3. And also, 8 divided by 4 is 2. Hence, we are left with 11 times 3, times 2, times 7. And this is equal to 462. Number 42. How many different lunches are possible consisting of a soup, a sandwich, a dessert, and a drink if one can select from four different soups, three kinds of sandwiches, five desserts, and four drinks. For our solution, we're going to use the fundamental counting principle. By multiplication principle, to find the answer, we can just multiply four different soup choices times three different sandwiches and then times five desserts times four choices for drinks. And this is equal to 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 4 is 20, then we have 240 different lunches possible. Number 53. How many 5-digit numbers can be formed using the digits 2, 3, 5, 7, 8 if no repetition of the digits are allowed? For our solution, again, we're going to use the fundamental counting principle. Since we are forming a five-digit numbers, then we have the first digit, second, third, and the fourth and fifth digits. For the first digit, we have five choices in two, three, five, seven, and eight. No repetition is allowed, so if we have choose or if we have chosen one of these numbers, we cannot use it anymore for the second num second digit then we have only four choices for the second digit, then three choices for the third, two choices for the second, and we are left with only one choice for the fifth digit. And this is equal to 120 five-digit numbers. Number 44. In how many ways... And seven people sit around a circular table. For circular permutation, our formula is n minus 1 factorial. 
since n is equal to 7, then that will be 7 minus 1 factorial. That is equal to 6 factorial. And 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 by definition. And this is equal to 720 ways. Number 55. Find the number of ways in which 4 questions can be chosen from 7 questions in an examination Assuming that the order in which the questions are chosen does not matter. If the order in which the questions are chosen does not matter, then we can use the formula for combination where n is equal to 7 and r is equal to 4. So we have 7 combination 4 and using the formula we have 7 factorial over 7 minus 4 factorial times 4 factorial. 7 factorial can be expanded as 7 times 6 times 5. We stop at 4 factorial because we have 4 factorial in the denominator. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. Then multiply this by 4 factorial. 4 factorial over 4 factorial is equal to 1. 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 6, so 6 over 6 is also equal to 1. Then we have 7 times 5, we have 35. Forty-six. A die is thrown twice. Find the probability that the number obtained during the first throw is greater than during the second throw. For our suggested solution, let us have the set for the event that the first row is greater than the second row. So we have 2, 1, where the first row is 2 and the second row is 1. Also, we have 3, 2 and 3, 1. Then we have 4, 3. 4, 2, and 4, 1. Also, we have 5, 4, 5, 3, 5, 2, 5, 1. Next, if the first throw is 6, we have 6, 5, 6, 4, 6, 3, 6, 2, and 6, 1. This means that the number of elements in the event n of e is equal to, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That is equal to 15. Then the probability of this event that the first row is greater than the second row is equal to 15 over 36 simplified as 5 over 12. 27. A box contains 5 eggs, 2 of which are rotten. If 2 eggs are chosen at random, find the probability that exactly one of them is rotten. For our solution, let E be the event that exactly one of the two eggs chosen is rotten. Hence, we have probability of E is equal to, if there are two eggs that are rotten, then getting one of the two will have two combination one. By multiplication principle, we multiply this by 3 combination 1 since there, there are 5 eggs and 1 will not be rotten. And then in the denominator, in the sample space, we have 5 combination 2. Solving this, we have 2 factorial over 2 minus 1 factorial, 1 factorial times 3 factorial over 2 factorial times 1 factorial 
And in the denominator, we have 5 factorial over 5 minus 2. That's 3 factorial, 2 factorial. Solving, 2 factorial over 1 factorial is equal to 2. 3 factorial over 2 factorial is equal to 6 over 2. That is 3. In the denominator, we have 5 factorial. That is 120 divided by 3 factorial is 6 times 2. That is 12. So we have 120 over 12. That is equal to 10. Then we have 6 over 10 or 3 over 5. Number 48. A card is drawn at random from a standard deck of 52 cards. Find the probability of drawing an ace or a heart. For our suggested solution, let E be the event that drawing a card from standard deck of cards, we get an ace or a heart. So the probability of this event is equal to for the ace, we have 4 aces over 52. That's the total number of cards in a standard deck. We add the number of hearts is 13 over 52. Then we subtract the ace that is also a heart that is counted from the two probabilities that we've had. So that is 1 over 52. 4 plus 13 is 17 minus 1. That will be 16 over 52. Simplifying this is 4 over 13. Number 49, Jacob, Amelie, and Reuben each roll a fair six-sided die. Find the probability that all three roll a number less than three. To roll a number less than three, one should get either one or two. So that will be two over six for each of Jacob, Amelie, and Reuben. Let E be the event that... All three roll a number that is less than 3. That Then we have probability of E is equal to 4 Jacob. That is 2 over 6. Multiply this by Amelie. That is also 2 over 6. Multiply this by Ryuben. That is also 2 over 6. Then we have 8 over 216. Simplifying this, we get 1 over 27. Last number, number 50. Danny has a pack of 55 cards. Each card is either red or black. One third of the cards in the pack are red. She picks two cards from the pack without replacement. Find the probability that Danny picks two black cards. Let E be the event that Danny picks two black cards from a pack of 45 cards. For the first pick, Danny gets a black card, so that will be equal to 30 over 45. There are 30 black cards because there are 30 black cards because one third of the pack are red. And one third of 45 is 15. So two thirds of 45 is 30. For the second pick, Danny still picks a black card. Then, without replacement, that will be 29 over 44. Simplifying these fractions, we get 30 over 45. That will be equal to 2 over 3. Then we have 2 over 44, that is 1 over 22. Then we have 1 times 29, and in the denominator, 3 times 22, that is 66. Then the probability is 29 over 66. That will be all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids videos.